What's your favorite poverty meal that you still eat regardless of where you are financially? Fried egg with rice. Good for breakfast, lunch or dinner. Also brunch, lunch or ending fast. Also second breakfast, lunch, second lunch and first dinner. What about elevensies? I don't think he knows about elevensies pip. What about elevensies luncheons, afternoon tea, dinner, supper? He knows about them right? Came from my broke ass recipe planner. Cinnamon sugar toast. Soup boiled down with rice to bulk it up. This is a good one, almost like a porridge or congee. When I'm sick I boil rice in chicken stock and just eat it that way, no soy sauce or anything else so it's easy on my stomach. It's a really comforting thing to eat. I always make long grain parboiled rice that way. So much tastier. My mom taught me to do that. Kind of like a cheat risotto but more cooked. When I was at uni I lived off it with chopped hot dogs stirred into it. Surprised I didn't get scurvy now I think about it. All the limes in your drinks took care of that. Sleep. This is my favorite stress and depression food. Love it so much I have it every night. Toast with a fried egg for breakfast. Been eating that for probably 6 years now and still look forward to it every morning. Hello fellow egg toast lover. Life feels incomplete without and nothing can replace it. Breakfast just doesn't feel like breakfast without fried eggs on toast. So good. Beans and rice. I remember a big pot of beans living in the fridge. Hungry? Get some beans. Don't like what was for dinner? Get some beans. Upset stomach? Beans. That was 100% my grandmother growing up. Anytime you said you were hungry, beans. If you were lucky there were cold biscuits left from breakfast, too. Edit, in the southern us, biscuits are a heavily baked good that's eaten sort of like a dinner roll but tastes a million times better. We call those little flat desserts cookies. They're also good, but biscuits are delicious. Edit too, since you guys are so fascinated by biscuits, my grandmother also made the other type of biscuits, cookies. They were called tea cakes and they were amazing. I haven't seen them outside the southerness, so I think they're a regional thing. Tortillas here but yeah. Beans and government cheese FTW. Peanut butter and sliced banana on toast. Now that I'm better off financially, I'll add real honey and ground cinnamon because I'm a fancy bitch now. Bougie as duck. Cinnamon toast. Just bread, butter, cinnamon and sugar mixed together. Also, I love ramen. Edit, thank you for my first award, stranger really was not expecting this comment to blow up. Apparently y'all love your cinnamon toast and ramen, er, I mean instant noodles for all y'all nitpickers in the thread lol. Second edit, I've always referred to margarine as butter. So when I say butter, I mean margarine. Y'all really are nitpicking lamau. I love cinnamon toast. But I butter it, sprinkle generously with cinnamon and sugar, then stick that shit under the broiler till it forms a melted crust on top edit, as another redditor pointed out I meant to say until it caramelizes. Warm and crunchy and glorious, the bottom stays soft too so it's got multiple textures. Second edit, broil it until the cinnamon, sugar and butter forms a nice crunchy crust. Does that make y'all nitpickers happy? LMFAO. Quesadillas, with hot sauce if there is any, edit. I think a lot of people have different ideas of what a quesadilla is. My version is strictly a single tortilla with whatever cheese I have lying around, usually dollar packs of singles. That means no meat, beans, lettuce, tomato, etc. and I definitely don't use a foreman to make mine. Poverty meal? That's dinner where I come from. Wait. I felt this in my bones. Small children edit, thanks for the gold kind stranger. Same. I think that poverty meals are best because they involve ingenuity to make food both cheap and delicious. Yeah definitely that and not because I'm poor. It's totally a choice and we like this a lot. Butter noodles. Yes. And if you were lucky to have parm and garlic, then you're eating good. Add black pepper and you've got cacio e pepe. Pancakes. Cheap to make in filling, can be eaten with whatever is in your fridge. 
Whatever is in your fridge and pancakes and beef fat plus olives. Make the pancakes with a little cornmeal, less sugar, and a bigger pinch of salt, and that meal really doesn't sound half bad. Toast. If you have butter or something to slap on top even better, but a few pieces of toast usually satisfies my hunger for a decent amount of time. I'm the opposite, toast always makes me hungrier. Yeah I feel like whenever I eat toast I get this ravenous hunger for more. For me it depends on the bread. White bread toast makes me hungry, and I'm not a big fan. A good whole grain wheat with seeds and whatnot, that hits the spot. Steamed white rice, crack a raw egg in it while it's scorching hot, stir aggressively and dash with soy sauce. If I have some, some roasted seaweed in that shiz. Super cheap breakfast but oh man is it filling delicious. Edit. Thanks for all the recommendations everyone. Sesame oil, yumi, pickled plum, furikake, rice seasoning, spam, and cabbage are all on my list of ingredients to mix and match. To answer this as it's getting asked quite a bit, I'm not Asian, I'm white. I do very much enjoy cooking, especially Southeast Asian dishes. If you have recipes you'd like to share for a frugal home cook who enjoys say Asian cooking please do so. This has become one of my gotos. Maybe a bit of roasted garlic and or sesame seeds. Some chopped spring onions or chives. Basically whatever's in the fridge. Toasted sesame seeds is something I've gotta try next time, but yeah that's why I love it, just get to experiment, and it's good every time. Fried eggs with fried potatoes. This is not poverty meal, this a gold meal in Romania edit, Mulumesc pentru premii. Also to the guy who argued with me on how to make fries potatoes to you. The only meal Romanian dads knew how to cook when mom was away. Ukrainian too. My old man can't cook for shit, but I loved every time he made that. Same for my Russian dad. I miss his potatoes and eggs. Grilled cheese sandwich edit, added ed to the grill. Grilled cheese is great pretending to be bougie food too. My brother and I used to go to the store together and splurge on fancy-ish cheese, i.e. still the pre-cut stuff in plastic in the dairy section, not the high-end stuff in the deli section or the fancy cheese cooler, and see who could come up with the best combination of cheeses and bread from the bakery section. I think we settled on sourdough, smoked gouda, avarti and cream cheese. A fancy corporate event I went to had them displayed as crostini du fromage. That doesn't even make sense, it should be crostini au fromage. No no, it's grilled cheese unless it's from the fromage region of France. S. Ha ha ha, all of France is the fromage region of France. Stew. There could be anything in there but it's still delicious. My grandma, who grew up during World War II, taught me that you can make soup from almost anything. At least once a week I just throw a bunch of scrap veggies, leftover meat, rice and whatever other random bits are left over from the week's meals into a pot with some stock, boil it all together and bam. We save the bones from every meal that had animal protein in it, then boil them to make bone broth. Super filling and nutritious. Then we can the broth BC it keeps forever, if you're too lazy to cook you just dump a jar of broth, cup and a half of rice, bag or two of frozen veggies into a crock pot and walk away. Soup in 2 hours edit, animal protein as opposed to plant protein. Ramen. I'll one-up that with Indomie specifically. If you haven't heard of it, you're missing out. It was so popular in Nigeria it practically replaced the world noodle, despite Indomie being an Indonesian product, 11,688 kilometers away. I brought it to an international summer camp in Finland where all the delegates from other countries pretty much lapped up the serving tray like dogs. Peanut butter sandwich. Nothing beats a good old-fashioned PBJ, hold the J. This guy nut butters. A gas station slushy mixed with gas station wine. Poor man's daiquiri. Edit, um. Thank you for the award. That sounds more like poor man's gastro -draino. You need to bust out the Everclear for that. Oven baked potatoes with salt and margarine. Cheap ingredients found in almost every home and easy to make. Also, the starch in potatoes makes you feel full for pretty long. Sprinkle over a decent layer of lorry seasoned salt to really make the taters tasty.